Well, Pizzagate, it became a major story weeks ago when an armed man decided to investigate a D.C. area pizza place for himself. This man right here, he carried a rifle into a pizza parlor and then fired it at the floor. Media is telling you the entire story is a hoax or fake news. But what does that even mean? I spent the last month investigating. So what exactly is Pizzagate? And are there any actual facts to support the story? I've got to warn you, what we're going to talk about tonight will be disturbing to some people. But this is a reality check you won't see anywhere else. Pizzagate actually comes from the WikiLeaks release of hacked emails from Clinton campaign chairman John Podesta. In all, WikiLeaks dumped around 50,000 email messages, and it was from those emails that the claims that John Podesta may be part of a child sex trafficking ring come from. Now, to be clear, not one single email in the Podesta emails discusses child sex trafficking or pedophilia. That is a fact, but there are dozens of what seem to be strangely worded emails dealing with pizza and handkerchiefs. Self-described online investigators say that those words in the emails about pizza and the talk of handkerchiefs is code language used by pedophiles. So how did a DC pizza parlor get pulled into the story? Well, again, read any mainstream report and they indicate that Comet Ping Pong Pizza was somehow linked to this fake story and has no relation to anyone involved. But the truth is, that's not true either. What media is ignoring is that the Comet Ping Pong Pizza Place is actually referenced in the Podesta emails at least a dozen or so times, and that the owner of that place, James Alphantis, is a friend of John Podesta. He was actually named, this is kind of strange, by GQ magazine as one of the top 50 most powerful people in Washington. Yes, we're talking about a pizza parlor owner. Now let's talk facts here. There is no solid evidence that Comet Ping Pong Pizza is being used to run a child sex trafficking ring. But there are some very strange connections between Comet Ping Pong Pizza and a second pizza place two doors over, Besta Pizza, and the accusations of pedophilia. Now this is where things start to get strange when you research this story. Now to begin, I need to show you a 2007 unclassified FBI document. That document, according to the FBI, contains commonly used symbols by pedophiles to express their preference in children. I want you to see these images here. These are the images. Notice this one on the end, the triangle. That image signifies something called boy love. The pizza place next door to Comet Ping Pong Pizza, Besta Pizza, well this was their logo until only a few weeks ago. Clearly you can see that the Besta logo actually contains the same image, I'm going to show you again, as that boy lover image. Interestingly, after Pizzagate investigators pointed this out, Best of Pizza changed their logo, and there it is now. They removed the triangle. Also, Comet Ping Pong, owned by Alphantis, is the place where a number of performance artists perform regularly. Two of the groups that perform there, who you can see advertised, by the way, on this Comet Ping Pong poster, include a group called Heavy Breathing and another group called Sex Stains. Well, if you check out the YouTube videos by these bands, Heavy Breathing has songs that do joke about pedophilia. And the band Sex Stains has a video that includes, and you see it right there, that same boy lover symbol. It's nearly identical to the one that the FBI does say is a pedophile code symbol for boy love. As I said, there are some strange things there. As for the owner of the pizza place, James Alphantis, well, he was one time in a relationship with David Brock who ran Media Matters for America. Well, since Pizzagate began to blow up online, he has made his Instagram profile, Jimmy Comet, private. But an archive search of Instagram reveals a number of strange photographs and words with strange and disturbing images associated with them. Look, to the point where we can't show you those pictures. We're not even going to describe them to you because some viewers would find it too disturbing to share on TV. Now let's talk about the Podesta brothers, because remember it was John Podesta's email that was hacked. In those leaked Podesta emails, John Podesta talks about his close relationship with Dennis Hastert, the former Speaker of the House, who was recently sentenced to 15 months in prison for abusing boys years ago. He was referred to by the judge as a serial child molester. According to the Washington Post, visitors to Tony Podesta's home in Falls Church got an eyeful when they walked into a bedroom at the Podesta residence hung with multiple color pictures by Katie Grannon, a photographer known for documentary-style pictures of naked teenagers in their parents' suburban homes. 
And to be clear, that just begins to scratch the surface of how strange some of this stuff is. And bear in mind, we can't get into a lot of the real details of it because of the limits on broadcasting this on television. But it is some very strange stuff. Now keep in mind, again, there is no proof here that there is a child sex ring being operated out of a DC pizza parlor. Investigators have already proven there's nothing to the story, right? Well, actually, no. And that's what you need to know. For all that is here, there has not been one single public investigation of any of this. Not from local police, not from the FBI, no one. And that has to be the big question. Not for Podesta or for pizza parlor owners, but for law enforcement. Based on what may be or may not be here, the big question is, why hasn't any investigation taken place? That's Reality Check. Let's talk about it on Twitter.